Right, so we're on our way home. This is all bank lane. And as you can see, probably full of litter. All coming back to uh, to thing with the uh, winter coming on. Right, wherever I yes, bottles everywhere, litter, paper, crisp packets. Packet here open. Yep. Now the plus side, you see wildlife like that. I don't know if you can see that. Wow. Wow. It's obviously found something. Beautiful day! Really? Beautiful day! It's lovely isn't it? I'm just filming it, beautiful! Are you? Yes! It's worth it! It is isn't it? It's gorgeous! Yes! I'm just thinking of it's not going to last long is well, it? Well... Grot spot. Grot spots of Blackburn! Grot yes! Spots yes! Right, okay! Okay, bye! What's your name? Sylvia! Sylvia! Sylvia. Paul! The si council know me quite well! Okay! <laughs> bye Sylvia! <laughs> bye! bye. Hey, beautiful day. Lovely. I have a YouTube channel as well, so if you hear me talking, that's why. So if you go on YouTube, ever, Biker Paul. So Biker Paul, that's uh, oh, that's my that. my YouTube channel. My son's called Paul. Oh, the <laughs> best name. Well, the memory's not that good. <laughs> the best name. See you later, Sylvia. Bye. Bye. It could be, I uh, was just saying to Sylvia, it could be the best, the best part of Blackburn this. Um, it could be so, so nice. There are, there are deer uh, that roam around here, um, which, is, which is nice, as long as they stay around here and not go on the roads. But, um, yeah. Yes, it's lovely. You could be anywhere in the countryside. Very nice. Yeah, Sylvia was saying then that um, she campaigned together with neighbours for um, the other part of this path. And um, to the hospital and uh, because they were going to lose it well fortunately they won the case and uh, the path was uh, not not only restored it was a brand new tarmac path for both cyclists and pedestrians so really nice she used to work at the hospital on the psychiatric department so she's um, she lived here a long time and uh, she's like me like most people very very sad that uh, the town's been allowed to get in the state that it has these concrete um, round things here are there to stop well to stop cars coming coming along I don't think uh, I don't think they'll stop motorcycles 
and although motorcycles the off-road type don't particularly want to ride on uh, on tarmac you ride up there in this grass quite cold, it's probably around about 2 degrees so, I suppose I could link this to what winter looks like in my part of the uh, the world. Um, Graham Calvert um, from Yorkshire has set a bit of a challenge going to um, his subscribers. Uh, asking people throughout the world to show us what winter looks like. For instance, um, Vognit, Vognit, or Vognit, I think that's how you pronounce it, in New Zealand, did his. And of course, in New Zealand, they're uh, entering spring and summer. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Beautiful. Yeah, that's Queen Spot there. So winter here. Um, well, <coughs> generally we get weather like this: cold, frosty. Minus three last night. Um, plus three, I think I've seen, I've actually seen plus five today, but probably around about plus three maximum. And, uh, and then, you, you know, if you get a, an Atlantic low, we generally get damp, sort of wet weather so it's alternates between um, wet and damp and miserable to beautiful and dry like this and I prefer this I don't want any snow we, we generally get snow you can get it anytime really um, but January, February, sometimes March, but mostly January, February um, is when we get the uh, any snowfall. So they'll be here right through winter, blocking up the drains. A shame. As I'm sure you'll agree, it's uh, it's got potential to be a beautiful area. I mean, this is this park, Queen's Park. I mean, in winter time, all that area there is underwater. needs decent drainage although they, they, uh, they drained um, Queen's Park uh, sorry not Queen's Park, Corporation Park and then you know, spent a lot of money on that park 
pity they can't do the same with this. walking down this uh, path in the dark with my torch and uh, there was a rat that ran directly in front of me I couldn't believe it I don't know who was more startled me or the rat and uh, all this never used to be like this and over there is a brook, a stream, perfect conditions for rats. Litter here. Now we have a litter collector. I'll go litter picking. I haven't done for quite a few weeks. <coughs> and I guess the reason is that now we have a fortnightly uh, dustbin collection so if I go litter picking it means I have to hold on to um, the rubbish or do it to coincide with the rubbish collection don't mind doing a little bit but um, It would be handy if people didn't drop in it first place. I mean, look at that there. That's a child's hula hoop. It's been there for weeks. Rubbish there. Look at it. I don't know what that is there. Something's dead. No wonder we've got rats. Absolutely no wonder. We've got rats at all. So, that is my, I've combined this as my autumn report. Uh, anybody that uh, follows um, polls, odds and ends, and biker poll, um, will see that I've uh, I've got my June report, obviously summer report, and this is autumn report, and. Uh, I'll combine that with winter in Blackburn, Lancashire, and that is, I know it's not riding my bike, um, I suppose I've cheated really, but it's a different angle isn't it? Yeah. Nice to be home. Right, thanks for watching. Sorry about the audio, the poor audio, any wind noise. Um, I forgot my Mickey Mouse microphone today, so apologies for the audio, not as good as usual. Right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ride safe, keep warm. All the best to all of you throughout the world. Bye for now.